overtime. Hey now, you're an all-star, get your game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star, get the show on, get paid. Today's fortune is... Uh, not good for work or overtime. I'm fans, I'm so scared that I'll never get put back together. Today's fortune is... Uh, not good for work or overtime. Welcome back, Mango 3. I'm here. We're going to continue with Honkai Star Rail. There's a bunch of temporary quests, so I'm going to go ahead and see what we got left. Sounded like the game's already started. There we go. Alright. So this one we only have five more things where we can double it, but this is just part of simulated universe. We've done those in the past. I'll probably t save that for last. Where are you, Mystery Trotter? Seven days left. I did like half of them, so we can go finish those. Those we'll probably do first. And then the museum. This one I actually already finished because I said it was only 13 hours left. So I'm going to go ahead and go to this one and show you what we did real quick. Run through it. And then we'll continue with the other stuff. Hey, Donnie boy, welcome back. How you doing? I'm showing off one of the temporary quests. I don't know if you've seen this one before. It's a museum. It starts out with an empty museum. And you little by little gather up all these things. So there's paintings, there's machines from different places we've been. If you've seen this game, you've recognized all of these things. <clears throat> but it's kind of a cool history thing, so you don't have to go explore everywhere. You can just kind of look at the pictures. That one's empty, that's weird. Military bedroll used 700 years ago against the Antimatter Legion. It was the most reliable bed for the Silver Main Guards in the past. A typical pre eternal freeze production, after all, with current weather, since thin bed rolls no longer serve a purpose. Ooh, okay. I won't talk to anyone, don't worry. Alright, so we've got camera thingy, planet thingy. All these things, basically, we had a little quest we had to go explore, go pick up the item. I didn't do the car things, but all these electronic, you recognize all these from fighting. I don't know, like, you could fight somebody or just manually pick it up and then bring it back. And basically, there were, the goal was to restore this whole museum and then run it. You, like, control everything, like, A+, plus and different guides and hire different people so like all these people around I had to hire them and like she's a really good person Manya really high score different characters have different ratings and stuff for as a guide but yeah that's pretty much it some of them you have to like fix stuff and there's like little quests on it then you talk to her and you can see all your guides and stuff like It looks like this. And here are all the guides. So you have to split them up between the different sections of the museum. But Clara didn't even end up with a spot. Right, because her first thing's really low. But these are all different characters. And ratings. Pretty easy. But we completed it. Alright, we'll continue with the Trotter quest. 
We'll go ahead and finish that one up next. We were did two out of no, we did three out of seven or something like that. So let's go there. He has a teleport to him, so I don't know why they're making him do this. I'm on to something, I know it. Ah, darn it. I got away again. It got away again. It's all your fault. Oh, it's you. You need something? Sensor's reading. Fourth time. The art of light and shadow. I, I don't understand it. I've never even been to Boulder Town. Whatever will I find there? Okay, so one through three, they have these little trotter things shape shifting into different things around the area. Like some turn into lamp posts or signs or ads or different stuff like that. So um, that's basically the whole point of this uh, is to go explore and pick them up and figure out where they could be. And so you try to find the item that looks kind of like one, or like the colors, I think. But they, they put a little gold star, so it's not that hard. If it's dangerous, there's extra charge, but the the rewards are really good, which is why I do the little stuff like that. Ack, I know that. Tell me about it when you run into danger. Move it. Oh, I feel an intuition coming into my brain. This coordinate feels like it's an equipment that's got to do with images. I can't tell what it is. Count it as a tip from me. Now let's just go to the location marked and look for anomalies. All right, let's head over there. Easy shortcut, look at that. Shouldn't take long. Just thinking about work gives me a full body migraine. All right, right here is Issa, a uh, clue. Letter attached to a package, okay. Oh, here's another one over here. The sound, the anomaly might be close by. Is he a camera? Ah, Grandma doesn't know how to use this either. Grandma, Grandma, let me try it. Mama always says I'm smart. Grandma can't afford it if you break it. No, I won't break it. Let me play with it. Let me play with it. I can teach you how to use it. I'll pay if you break it. Young one, don't spend your money like that. You really want to help and teach my grandson how to use it. Mister, how do you do this big metal block? Activate the switch. With the press of the switch, the image condensed within the mechanical equipment projects onto the wall. And look at that. That's it right there, I think. The thing we're supposed to find. This seems to be somewhere close by. If you're not sure, look at it a few more times. Wow, this... Is this round thing playing on a slide? I want to play on a slide. Oh, you. You haven't said thank you to the nice mister. The energetic child runs away and the old lady follows him. Now you are finally alone with it. Turn off the switch. How can fish swim if there's no water? How can it hide when there's no more projection? Didn't think it'd actually stay calm this time. Uh, All right, we only have three people fighting right now. <clears throat> I probably switched out somebody for one of the one of our viewers or one of our team members.
There we go. Finish him off. Yep, we got him. That's better. Got it. And imme immediately we always get a message from him, and he's like, Hey, hello, hello. Any news? I'm getting antsy over here. Firstly, hold on. I've got news. Uh, it was hiding in the movie projector this time. I only realized it after seeing the projection. It was amazing. That's the news this time. Whoa, slow down yourself. You scared me. The anomaly this time is kind of cute. I feel like I could package it a bit and use it for... A dear, my dear sensor. You come back soon as well. If you have time, have a look at my research plan. If we get a new signal in the meantime, you can head out immediately. Hey, Haley, how you doing? You were the one I, whose character I was borrowing, I think. <laughs> How's it going? I just got back from swimming. That's why my hair is all wet. All right, so we've got, let's use, so we've got all these different colors. Let's pick electric. Oh, you're almost dead, not you. Today's I'm doing good like always, you? Good, good, having, having a good weekend. Kayaking and swimming and, oh, and you are using my, yeah, Jing Yuan, that's the one. I was, very powerful. He, he was electric, I think, right? Uh, not good for work or overtime. And I also tested out Blade. I think you said you got Blade. I tested him out, and I was actually pretty impressed. He reminded me of Xiao from uh, Genshin. He like did something, and then all of a sudden he's super strong, but you know, obviously hurt. So I'm gonna actually go for him one time, just one round. Nope. I tried. Hey, March the 7th again. Similarity is probably the HP loss. Yeah, pretty much. He, he hurts himself and then he gets really strong. So. That's how I. That's what I thought looked similar. See, I have a lot of things. I can get more if I need them later. Almost got. I might even get two more because I have to do a couple more dailies and I'll probably get those. He also doesn't seem too happy. Xiao is always upset. He's like, grr. How'd you get him since he was, was he just in the regular hole or I guess that's the only way you can get him. I've marked the location for you this time. Pay attention and don't miss anything. I won't miss out any. That's good. Check every inch of the pit place. Oh, I feel an intuition coming into my brain. The coordinate feels like it's something to do with keys. Can't tell what it is. Count it as a tip from me. Just need to go where you mark. Today's fortune is
Oh yeah, we forgot to put March. March got the next idol on. What is she, level 2 now? No, just one. She gets 6 more energy. Whoop to do. Got Blade from a 10x event pull and immediately got him the minute his banner was out. Nice. I got Kazuo right when it came out on my on my other account on my phone, but I got two of him in the same pull. Kazuo is a pretty popular one on yeah, a different game, Genshin. Genshin Impact. Alright, so it's this thing. Probably. Nothing showing on screen. Completely busted. Okay, not that. Anomaly must be close by. Double doored wardrobe. Could contain many things. In the shadow spirits hide. Sometimes you can be the spirit yourself. Try to open it. Oh, I don't have a key. You need a key. Find the key. Okay. Well, that gives me time to put a fourth person on my team. Oh, I need it. Okay. There's the key. Where would the key be? Most convenient. Universal rule. Solitary, solitary key. When true ma true value when match the right lock. The key. Unveil the meaningful puzzle. Blah 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 blah. Mysterious key and poof. There he is. He was <laughs> dressed up as a wardrobe. This time we're prepared. We brought electric. Oh, okay. He's on electric now. Figures. Turn it up. You can fight it or rock with it. What's that symbol called with the thing holding the line to the feet? It's a Greek Greek letter. Turn it up. You can fight it or rock with it. Fee is like this or like this. I wasn't in the frat club. I don't remember. I also don't know Greek. So I don't know. Location it's displaying this time is kind of weird. I've never been there. But everything is everything okay? It took so long, of course everything's okay. Of course it's okay. With me running the show, of course everything's okay. It was just such a hassle. I feel like I need to charge you more. Don't you go raising the price on the spot. I don't have a lot of research funds either. Tell me, what? where's the anomaly this time? In a wardrobe. And a very, it was a, in a very large wardrobe. Not very innovative when it comes to hide and seek. Oh, in a wardrobe, huh? Yeah, that's not very creative. Come back soon. Maybe the sensor is close to detecting something again. You'll need to head out quickly in that case. Yeah, I, I need to fix that. I forgot to change the setting before I started, but thanks.
All right, I think I fixed it. It should get better in the very, very near future. Come on, it's something I know. It. I always do the same thing. Sixth time, a residence in the Great Mine? Does that mean where someone's staying? Did the anomaly hide among the crowd? I've marked the location for you this time. Pay attention and don't miss anything. What if there are no clues? Then you're not detailed enough. I won't pay you. Oh, I feel an intuition coming into my brain. This coordinate feels like it's something to do with residences. I can't tell what it is. Count it as a tip from me. Alright, so we're looking for housing. Okay. Okay, let's see. Looks like I have to go here. We're gonna ignore him. The deal is mine. As long as I fleece those two fools into completing the deal and then take their base capital. Hey, who are you? Don't eavesdrop. The anomaly is not here. This again. <sighs> but then again, there's nothing else to eat in here. Anomalies. Anomaly is not here either. Gotta be another tent around here. Come on, tent number three. Oh, there's some more tents over there. Uh, it says it's in this circle. Oh, it could be down there. There's a tent down there, and that's in the circle. No, uh, well. Let's go up this stairs. There's a tent up here, and there's a star. Okay, it's one of these two. Aha! Anomaly could be close by. I think I see it sticking out right there. I see you. No sound coming from this one. Something's peeking out. The nostril, not a human nostril. Touch it. Before you manage to lay a finger on it, the tent in front of you starts to tremor violently. Looks like it senses you. Why is there a trotter who hid halfway and forgot to hide its snout? Yesterday when I was doing Genshin, right after we got off stream, I continued the quest to like one more part and there were two more little joy vouchers right next to where I was. And I picked them up and sure enough I got the 150 reward, which is a new clothing, but it looks kind of similar. It's kind of weird. It looks for Kaya. I'll, I'll show you next time we get on there. Doesn't look a whole lot different. He's like a bandit now. I wish I could trade for the um, Klee Witch's Hat. No, I don't even have Klee, but that's a better costume, I think. <laughs> Is it going well with you? It's okay if you're if you really can't find it. Science allows for failures, but I succeeded. Sorry for disappointing you, no failures this time. The anomaly was inside a tent. It didn't get any better at concealing itself. That's good. To be honest, after so many successes, if I felt it was about time the sensor experiences a failure or two. 
But who could have known what my dear sensor is so good? That my dear sensor is so good. It's hard to get it to fail even once. I'll let you know ASAP if I get another ping. You should hurry and bring back the fruit of victory too. See, lots of rewards. Lots of rewards. Super easy. No. Cat scratch. Kaya's event skin. Yeah, that's what the reward was. Yeah, he wore that in the event. I don't know if you've seen this event at all. You said you haven't played in a while, so... It was towards the beginning of the event. He was wearing it. Seventh time. Something's not right. Very wrong indeed. My intuition is giving me a really bad feeling. Is this a bad omen for Boulder Town? I have a lot of things to do. Besides, the whole reason I hired you is to save my effort. If I have to go there myself, anyway, I might as well do it on my own and save on the feet. My precious... My precious will... My precious will open the gates of Bella Boggs Scientific Academia. I think you missed a word there. By that point, I will not be the region everyone knows. Ah, stop. The intuition this time makes my scalp tingle. Ah. This feeling of deja vu is so weird. I need to rest for a bit. You go on. Just thinking about work gives me a full body migraine. Ordinary Geomera ore doesn't look particularly different in order or texture. I've seen this thing before. The anomalies hide in tiny, commonplace things. Just have to do something to make it show its true form. Punch it. Heavy strike lands on the cold, hard surface of the ore. Thank goodness you didn't punch it more than once, or be more than one person in Bellabog with <laughs> common unit phalanx fractures on the fingers. Ouch! We didn't find it. Not completely fruitless. You found out how hard it is. Go ask the kids over there. I'll show you some basics. Do you know that light is a particle? No idea. Ah, he looped back. And still hasn't answered my question. He repeated this at least several dozen times. He's a robot. Maybe it's him. This person's weird. Not only is his spiel familiar, he looks similar, too. Too early to be teaching children these things. Yeah, I got tired of listening. I don't think an adult will speak for us kids. He speaks too fast, and he keeps repeating the same few sentences. I got bored. So tired. Who are you? Well, why do you keep staring at us? Are you here to listen to his science research? What's his name? Don't remember. He must have said it, but I was trying to focus on his study, so I didn't pay attention. It sounds like Re, or was it Lay, or Ga, I forgot. You're so forgetful, I remember. He calls himself Re, uh, Region. Region? What's the passphrase? Passphrase? Unintelligible sounds. He transformed into Region! And it can speak like a human. I wonder what else is it's done in regions mean. Whole new world of possibilities.
If I fail, I gotta switch back with the imaginary. I'll do yellow. Put it on the tree. Fire does pretty well. Hey, we got him. Now we can see. Just a little something. Thank you. Ooh, we got two. He's only level 50 and imaginary is like kind of most most of my people are not most of the people you fight against are not imaginary um i could use him he's kind of a baby if he was level 60 he, he it requires a lot to get him to 60 i'm almost there i think i have like i might get him there right tomorrow or maybe today we'll see i'll look at the numbers and see where we're at I tried to send you lots of texts, but none of them went through. Are you getting a bad signal at your location? Are you the real region? I'm kind of doubting your identity right now. After all, I can't see your face when we're texting. Huh? What are you talking about? How can there be a fake region in this world? Did you hit your head too hard? What happened to you? Did you have an accident? Don't go anywhere. I'll send you some money right now. I'm so touched. Seems like you're the real deal. Adding compensation when there's danger? Seems like you're the real deal. Appraisal complete. You seem fine to me as well. Never mind. I won't press you for what happened this time. Just come back and have a rest. When you have time, can you come back after resting up so we can have a chat face to face? Oh, there were two things. I was low on uh, stuff to level them up and I didn't have enough to get to six. Yeah, see, I need three more of these golden crowns, and I didn't have enough energy. But I could beat that real quick. Yeah, I have enough energy now. Do 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 do. Look at that, electric and electric. Watch how fast I, I wipe this out. And by I, I mean this person. <laughs> Here, it's on. I also forgot to take my rewards from um, the, the spaceship guy with the funny hat. Forgot his name. See, look how fast that was. Crushed it. There's three. Well, might be able to get. Three more of these. 
Seriously. substitute for it. I bet assignment could get it, but I would have to wait. The assignment takes a while. Or there's always another way. an assignment award only. I'm not doing some new reviews. So, well, we'll have to wait. Uh, maybe not. I'm on to something. I know it. Talk about the sensor. I'm relieved to see you're doing alright. The guards probably wouldn't let me go if something were to happen to you. As for the sensor, I'm so mad. Those old geezers said that I had already submitted a similar paper that was full of typos. They said I should stop creating trouble for them. Just look at this. My research notes are perfectly clear. How can there be typos? Yay, got the big reward. Tracks for destiny. That helps with leveling up and stuff. Is there anything else with this event, or did I clear it? I suspect that Anomaly stole my notes, sold them to some uneducated brute, and their ignorance was exposed when they copied the notes. I wish I took more steps to protect myself back when they first gave me the note pieces. But who did that Anomaly sell my notes to? I'm gonna hunt that person down. You really not have a twin brother? Could it be you and from a parallel universe? Parallel universe, you're so imaginative. But that kind of hypothesis is not within my research area. Hey, have you not recovered from your anomaly detection earlier? Why don't you take more rest? I'm going to predict my research notes extremely well now. It won't ever be stolen again. Okay, mission complete. So that was it. And then I get some big reward for doing that. Level up, not quite enough. Let's quickly go gather some rewards. I think it's on my ship. Pom Pom, that's the name. <clears throat> I bet he's gonna give me some useful stuff. That was my level. Just two? Oh man. Guess I've seen him a lot too long. Alright, let's look and see. Do we want to try? I'm going to skip these for now. That's kind of my last. There's a lot of things relying on trailblazing stuff. We're we'll just continue trailblazing. I think that might be the right way. If we get stuck, we can come back to some of some other stuff. Just making sure I didn't miss any more one. even the right quest. And double check to make sure. about work gives me a full body migraine. Alright, so we're in the right area. 
Alright, so we just got to this new planet. We met the girl with the ears. And she seems to be like an important person. It's like Morby Blood ears. Star Watcher Avenue would be so crowded if there wasn't even with the lockdown. Shen Chou is really a sight to behold. It's a pity we can only admire from afar. It's alright, it'll get better very soon. I'll treat you to a meal when the lockdown is lifted. Uh, I certainly hope so. So they're talking about lockdowns, so that's clearly a assessment on Hey, I reckon it's Isn't that cough guy right there? With the glasses. There's the one with the ears. Ting Yun. Ting Yun. Oh, you're here already. Sorry to keep you waiting. Madame Yukong is expecting you. Are you not coming? I brought the Madame Helmmaster up to speed. It's over to you now. Every time I see her, it looks like she's about to lose a fight. Report the losses to General Jing Yuan and find someone from the Divination Commission. There's Jing Yuan. Stand there watching while we deal with this mess. Greetings, guests from the Astral Express. Ting Yun has informed me of the purpose of your visit. Receiving guests isn't normally one of my responsibilities. But since you're already you know at Chen Chou, that's impressive. But the enemies get harder by a long shot here, so I recommend I farming I relics. Okay. And politely decline your proposal. Decline? I did lose my first fight not too long before this one. Is, and is more so than I'm definitely at the level, but I've been up, upping everybody been to 60, so everybody's kind of years, at the best I can get them. But relics, you're right, I'm a little behind on this. The situation is serious. We have more than enough resources to spare. Outsider help is not needed on this occasion. You are guests from afar. There is no reason for this matter to concern you. Am I making myself clear? From what we've gathered, the influence of the Stellaron can still be contained. If we can locate it in time and contain it, it's possible that we can restore any space and any individuals affected by the corrosion. We have experience in preventing Stellaron disasters, and we've only come here to lend you that experience. I've said this and I'll say it again. This is an internal affair of the Xianzhou Alliance, and there is no need for the Astral Express to get involved. I decided to arrange a meeting with you as a gesture of respect, but my decision is final. There are enemies that uh, revive after you kill them. Don't Never know mind, if you've Mr. already Jan. encountered those. I don't Alliance remember counting those. Then we're wasting our breath. Let's go. No skeletons I'm yet. I'm afraid that's impossible. Huh? And what's that supposed to be? Unless mean? you count. It's only been a imaginary few days universe. What was the other? Was detected on the law food. I've been doing imaginary universe Starsky a lot. Starsky Haven has been under there's, full lockdown. There's something no that does that. No one has been permitted to leave. How did you come to know of the incident? And what led you to conclude that it was linked to a Stellaron? I acquired the access history of Starskiff Haven. Not long ago, someone hacked into the system and opened the Jade Gate, before guiding you, the Astral Express, into our territory. The hacker was skillful and even taunted us with her seal. Her name is Silver. I know her. A member of the Stellaron Hunters. What say you in your defense? Uh, dot dot dot. The Stellar Hunters told us to come here. The Stellar Hunters want to use you to take us out. Uh, I'll say that. Second one. You are forbidden from leaving the Skyfaring Commission until the aforementioned questions have been investigated. I'll fix that. I've got teleportation. Don't be too harsh, you gong. If this gets out, the whole galaxy will think the Alliance has forgotten how to treat our guests. 
Here's your pal. It's very unlikely that the Express has joined forces with the Stellaron Hunters. They are mortal enemies, after all. Apologies for interrupting your meeting. My name is Jing Yuan. I'm the General of the Cloud Knights here on the Law Fu. General, this is an internal affair for the Law Fu. I fully agree with you, Helm Master Yukong. This is indeed an internal affair. I am sorry, guests of the Astral Express. It is true that there is a Stellaron on the Law Fu. But I'm afraid I cannot accept your kind offer to help resolve the issue. This is a Xianzhou matter, and it is our responsibility to handle it. Of course, it would be inappropriate of me to let you return without something to show for it. While I cannot accept your help with regard to the Stellaron, I do have a favor to ask. Please, after you. Hmm. <sighs> the Astral Express. I must confess that the train's reputation precedes it, such that it is often close to my thoughts. How delightful to come face to face with its passengers. Frightfully delightful. Would that this occasion had come sooner? Are you really a general? I'll say the first. It's an honor to meet you, General. Uh, may I ask what the favor you spoke of is? Ah, uh, a matter that requires capable people such as yourself. We captured a member of the Stellaron Hunters a few days ago. Who goes by the name of Blade. Oh, so Blade's not on their side. During our investigation, the Divination Commission, the department in charge of intelligence processing, intercepted a transmission sent out by his accomplice, Kafka, who has managed to hide aboard the ship. We know her. As for where that transmission was destined... To the Express, go on where... dot dot dot. I have some knowledge of your relationship with the Stellaron Hunters. The Divination Commission is convinced that you made an alliance with them. <laughs> I say that's impossible. The crew of the Astral Express are honorable people whose valiant deeds are lauded across the universe. There must have been a misunderstanding. As such, I came to the conclusion that the communication must have been an attempt by the Stellaron Hunters to sow dissent between us. That's right, we've been framed. Maybe the Stellaron Hunters have other motives. We can handle the Stellaron, but it will take time and will require the bulk of the Cloud Knights on the ship. It is this Kafka that concerns me. The longer she stays on the ship, the bigger the threat she will pose. Since the Stellaron Hunters lured you to our ship, we shall move with the current. You are hereby authorized to do as you deem fit on the Lofu, with the goal of bringing Kafka out of the shadows and under our control. Doing so would clear the misunderstanding between us, reveal the true intentions of the Stellaron Hunters, and help us understand their connection to the Stellaron Hunters. What say you, my astral guest? Hmm. What do you think? Let's help with the current and help out. Our expedition was focused on the Stellaron. We don't really have a choice. Uh, we'll say a second. I'm afraid my hands are tied on the matter. This is a diplomatic affair and I have rules to follow. But if you can bring me the Stellaron Hunter and discover her motive for placing a Stellaron on the ship, it would be of great help in resolving the incident. The Lofu never fails to reward that which is given. Okay. Wonderful. It's a deal then. I shall notify Yu Kong that all intel is to be shared with you, and that our best personnel are to aid you in your search. If there is anything the Skyfaring Commission or the Cloud Knights can do for you during your stay, don't hesitate to make it known. Chat concluded, Welt shot you a covert gesture. You understand that this is the crew's own discussion. Alright, so he's a hologram. 
injection sand pit. What's that? Workers at the Palace of Astrum use the sand pit to play something. Something cleaner, something. Something about broom. I don't know why it disappeared, but. Alright, looking for anything else to click on? Probably. Ooh. Dendronet. Occasionally you'll hear workers at the Palace of the Astrum talking about the green plants when the plants are actually blue. Dendro! The Indra is blue. Oh, I found some papers. Don't mind if I do. Records of Yellow Bell Eight Resonance. One day I'll read them all. Not on stream though. I think we only scratched the surface of this General Jing Yuan. You think there's something strange about him? He seems suspicious. I thought he was on our side. I don't know about strange, but my gut tells me something is off. Mm -hmm. That's it. A minor detail, but curious. He avoided talking about Blade. Since the Cloud Knights have already captured a Stellaron Hunter, why not use him to get to Kafka? Huh? Why rely on us? The Sienjo is reluctant to involve outsiders in the Stellaron disaster, so why is it so keen on letting us capture a Stellaron Hunter? Could Blade have escaped? Do you think Chin Yuan Yuan lied about the Stellaron? He's using us as bait. How about could Blade yes. escape? That's what I was the only sensible conclusion I can draw is that Blade had already escaped when Jing Yuan spoke to us, provided they even captured him in the first place. Therefore, given our connection to Kafka, we represent the only way of luring the Stellaron hunters in. We're the bait now. That's why they're trying That's to hold us. That's why he asked for our help. He didn't want to let anyone else find out that Blade had already escaped. Now that we've figured that out, perhaps we can get closer to the core of what's happening here. Alright, now we go over and talk to her. Master Diviner, you heard our discussion. What do you make of it? What do I make of it? The way of heaven is apparent, but the heart of humanity is often deceptive. Are you asking me to divine their true intentions? That won't be necessary. The crew has nothing to do with the incident. Of that, I am almost certain. It isn't their intentions that trouble me. All I want is for them to lure out the one we're after. This is Firecracker. Say hello. Wasn't that my idea, General? Indeed. Your counsel has always been a great help to me. You may use your discretion on the matters ahead of us. Hm. Why don't you retire early and I use my discretion full time? <laughs> it is still too soon, unfortunately. If something goes wrong... You'll need a general to take the blame. How could I simply walk away and put you at such risk? If you'd brought me that blade earlier, none of this would have been necessary. Firecracker. Wait, what are you up to exactly? Xin <gasps> Yuan, did you let him escape on purpose? Me? <laughs> I had no idea he might escape. Unlike you, my gaze never travels beyond the horizon. I take full responsibility. The Cloud Knights failed in their duty. I can understand. There's a lot to take care of on the Sinjo. You were bound to miss something. Thank goodness I'm here. On that note... Thanks. 
Perhaps it's about time you finally nominate me as your successor when the six charioteers next convene. Yes, yes, yes. He's getting cranky because it's almost time to make food. Because before we feed him, we always play with him for a while. There are three things Usually in the world 15 that or 20 I can't minutes. seem to rid myself of. Like, practice the hunting. Troubles of the Siendro, the papers on my desk, and the weeds in my garden. So he's like, come on, let's General, play. That's why he's coming over and bugging position for herself. Everyone knows that. She is very capable. But Pumpkin will wake up in the near future, probably. Although we kept him up all day. He usually sleeps during the day. We've been waking him up all day, so he's probably tired. This Stellaron thing is easy. Blade he's bugging us. Now we gotta go get him. Just say the word. I'll solve this in a flash. I can understand your impatience. And I know you want to prove yourself. Now is not the time. If you truly wish to become sword champion, you shouldn't be running around brandishing your sword at people. Especially not a major criminal. You think I'd lose to Blade? Oh my gosh. I'm saying you need to have patience, Yan Ching. Governing Xianzhou is tiny. different from it's a probably like the dagger. The only way to build momentum is to work slowly. Besides, we still don't know who's really moving the chess pieces. There is something we must take care of before making our next move. As long as it remains unresolved, we're at a stalemate. That something is the Stellaron. How did it manage to bypass the Skyfaring Commission's inspections and the Divination Commission's predictions? Where is it now? I say we bring those two Stellaron hunters before Diviner Fu. She'll get an answer out of them in no time. I've asked our friends from the Express to take care of that for us. Worry not, you'll have your moment when the current stalemate is broken. You are my most trusted aide, and there are some things that I would only assign to you. Speaking of which, Yan Chen. <sighs> that boy. <laughs> I He's suppose gone. it is my fault. I should have given him an opportunity already. A sharp sword can't stay sheathed forever. <laughs> the weird my quote. fear was that this might prove too big a setback. Bigger than his exuberance. I used to take judo and stuff and there was always about the better you are at fighting, the less you fight. Because you're able to defend against any attack, so you don't have to attack anybody. You just stick around and defend yourself. And people attacking you is like almost never gonna happen in your whole life. Normally. Depends on where you're at. Alright. Seems like you will take a bit longer to chat with Madame Yukon. I'm going to have a stroll outside. Once you're done, you can find me at the docks. Actually, I should turn on this thing, it's not on yet. Yay, activate. I like that you don't have to click on it. You just walked it. Alright, is this a map? No. You won't let me through right away. Oh. Folks, if you're looking for a place to wait out the storm, come to Petrichor Inn. I see a chest. We're in the money. Ooh, see a paper. Can I go into here? No. There she is. I'm sure I can come back and explore the rest of me later time. Madame Yukong has asked me to look after you. Seems like we were destined to be in each other's company. The Skyfaring Commission has reserved rooms for you at the Pedracor Inn. When you finish your business here, how about some tea together? Thank you so much. You seem reluctant. The hotel, again. <laughs> Not at all, though 
might appreciate it if you mention to Madame Yukong that you got a warm reception from me when you next see her. <sighs> Better to be busy than idle, I suppose. Five stars. Everybody wants their five star review. Oh, I felt like I suddenly lost weight when we passed through. Same. Do you even have weight to lose? There was a gravitational shift. The same thing happens when we blip jump, only we feel heavier. <laughs> you know, you're talking my language. All right, this but makes sense. I, like your I was too, Mr. Yang. thinking the whole gravitational thing <laughs> the would be different on different planets, and they're actually accounting to that. Here. If I'm not mistaken, we've been in an artificial ecosphere since we arrived at the Skyport. Uh huh. The evidence is above us. Strange clouds. The planets look way too close to each other. Uh, strange. I don't remember seeing a big planet near the schedule when we were on the express. You're right. Something with a mass as huge as a Sienjo ship should keep clear of any planets on its course. Otherwise, it risks being caught up in the gravitational pull. The sky here is an artificial boundary. I imagine it was created to shield residents from the pitch dark of outer space and the negative emotions that it can generate. Fascinating. I heard that residents of the Xianzhou have extremely long lifespans, which would require them to make great efforts to preserve their mental health. Meaning... You sure know a lot, Mr. Yang. You sure zone out a lot, Mr. Yang. Focus, Mr. Yang. We got work to do. When you travel with Mr. Yang, he'll give you a thesis on everything he sees. If you have the patience to let him go on and on. Right, okay, let's get back to work. Sun hasn't gone down yet. Ready for a nap? That's not like you, March. Hey, that's not fair. My eyes are peeled this time. I'll make a run for it the second things go wrong. Uh, jokes aside, did you see Madame Yukong frown at us? I thought her guards were about to jump out of nowhere and throw us in jail. <sighs> I'd rather deal with monsters than these big shots. I mean, not that Madame Yukong doesn't have her merits. <laughs> Don't worry, my lips are sealed. But as her subordinate, I have to say that it's Madame Yukong's duty to keep her guard up. The Law Fu is facing a crisis, and as head of the Sky Faring Commission, she is responsible for the security of the Sienjo's customs and borders. She's actually a very reasonable old girl in private. Old girl? Presumably, are we talking about the same person? They say that many years ago, Madame Yukong was an ace pilot in the Cloud Knights. She was a work hard, play harder type, known for her hot temper and incredible skill. Eventually, she became the head of the entire commission, which required her to learn patience and adopt a meticulous approach to her work. In any case, Madame Yukong instructed me to reserve the best rooms at the inn and have all your expenses covered. She wants to extend the full courtesy of the Xianjo so that all of you enjoy your stay to the fullest. She specifically mentioned that if you wish to buy anything at the end, be it food or otherwise, just 
let the innkeeper know. The commission will cover the cost. Say thanks to her for us. Why don't you go back yourself? Ahem. <clears throat> Seeing as our hosts are so thoughtful, I guess we should help ourselves. Right, Mr. Yang? We should focus on our objective first. Seeing as Hellmaster Yukong was extremely reluctant to get us involved, am I right to speculate that the Skyfaring Commission has some leads on the whereabouts of Kafka? Exactly right. The suspect is extremely cunning. She inspected her transmission and timed her communication. We couldn't pinpoint her exact location. But as cunning as she is, the Divination Commission has managed to find something. Kafka. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. Is there anything special about what she said? Coordinates converge? I heard something in the background. Music. String instrument. That's the sound of a device. Uh, which means what exactly? This is a starship. There are all kinds of devices making weird noises. Miss March, to the untrained ear, these noises may sound the same, but for the craftsmen of the Artisan Ship Commission, every machine has a different pitch and melody. The General sent for craftsmen. And they concluded that the sound came from the shipyard facilities in Stargazer Navalia. Now, get some rest and prepare yourselves for the operation ahead. I look forward to seeing you in action. Folks, if you're looking for a place to wait out the storm, come to Petrichor Inn. How can I help? There's something I want to say. Any chance she's in still at the Stargazer Impossible in the Valley? to say. It used to be that the Divination Commission would track the access history of all the Delves. <laughs> but with the arrival of the Stellaron, things have become messy. Some Delves even had their entrance marked as the exit. If I were one of the Stellaron hunters, I'd be very happy to capitalize on all the chaos. It'd be harder to escape, but easier to blend in. There's something I want to say. Let's hear it. Was it raining when her transmission was intercepted? She was holding an umbrella. How perceptive. Our wind, clouds, rain, and fog are all artificial. The Realm Keeping Commission's weather pavilion manages the environmental conditions here. If Kafka was holding an umbrella, that means she was in an area with artificial rainfall during the transmission. Hmm. That doesn't help us much. The ship is huge, with changing conditions across various delves. I'm sure there were showers across many of them at the time. Anything Folks, else? If you're looking for a place to wait out the storm, come to Petricor Inn. Um. Can't even go there if I wanted to. Are you new to the Shinsho? Things aren't very safe out there at the moment. If you haven't found boarding yet, come out and hide out with us in the inn. I can't. Okay. Let's take advantage of the rest. It won't be easy to track down Kafka the Stellaron Hunter. Oh, let's let the Express know how we're doing. More importantly, let's see how Don Hung's doing. <laughs> Ask him what he's up to. Then tell him we're having loads of fun. Text him. Hey, you guys doing all right? March and I are doing missions for the... Shen Xiao. Message failed to send. Message failed to send. Hmm. It's on lockdown. Not long ago at the Astral Express. 
You've been standing here for half an hour. It's rare to see you like this. Are you worried about those two? Weld is with them. They should be fine. Himiko, did you keep a copy of the Stellavon Hunter's transmission? Can I have a look? Sure. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lasso. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? What exactly are you Stellaron Hunters trying to do? The Sea and Joe Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the Hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. <sighs> it's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. Stop! Lee. Is in danger. This man, he. If he's on the ship, then Welt march in him. Everyone is in grave danger. What? Is he connected to that past you want to escape? I. I can't leave them down there. It's just. I'm afraid my burden has finally caught up with me. And that <laughs> everyone is about you to be careful in. in the background. Oh, is there anyone that. who doesn't carry around a past burden? The adorable one. She may not remember it. Even a girl as carefree as March has hers. We tread on a path that is hidden from us. The things we see and the trails we blaze all become our baggage. They weigh us down. They also give us strength to continue the journey. Try not to dwell on it, Don Hong. The Express spends seven standard days at each stop. Its passengers are allowed to do as they deem fit during that time. Pom Pom and I are more than capable of looking after the Express. If there's something we've got to do, don't know. Better than regretting it further down the line. You'll come back and travel with us once this is all over, right? Hello. Hey, how are you? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put a cut in the video for now. Um, I don't think I have time to go to see if anyone else is streaming, but uh, too many other things going on. So yeah. I'll just cut out. I won't, I won't raid anybody right now, but uh, thanks for joining. Have a wonderful weekend. See you next time, probably Friday. I don't think anything else is going on, so have a good one.